Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I'm now 38 weeks pregnant and this is going to be my update for the last week. So if you want to see how I've been doing, we're on the final countdown, Ah, then keep watching. So I feel like this is going to be such a all over the place video because so much is going on at the moment and it's been quite a hectic week. I'm actually... 38 weeks and three days pregnant today because it's friday the what is it second of march so i can finally say let's all say it with me i'm having a baby this month which is just like i'm actually having a baby this month it, i i can't even oh, i don't know i'm just so excited i'm gonna start at like the end of like my 37th week because we went to a friend's wedding and it was something that I'd been really really counting down to and building up to because I was slightly worried because of how pregnant I am basically. So we packed my hospital bag, his hospital bag, we took the car seat with us, we took birth snacks with us, everything was in the car along with all the stuff for the wedding as well and the wedding was about an hour away but thankfully as you can tell by this video I didn't go into labour and it was so so lovely. Now I'm not actually married um I think most of you know that but for anyone that's new I think a lot of people just assume that I'm married and I've got two kids but I'm not. Um, Mark and I actually share the same surname, we're not related, you'll be very pleased to know <laughs> um, but it's just the way that that worked out and Mark's not like, he's a big supporter of marriage but he just doesn't want to do it himself and like marriage isn't for him but he's for me so it doesn't really matter to me that much like I've been through enough with like relationships and being a single mum and stuff to know when I've got a good thing and like for me marriage doesn't change that in any way but we both came away from it so so in love with each other and I know this sounds really sappy but I just feel like we're closer than ever it was really weird like he just I don't know, he's been amazing this last week. He's been so attentive and like so caring and gentle and he's done everything for me. And I, I don't know, it was just, it was lovely. Like I went a bit crazy while we were there and they had a disco and I love a disco, you know, in the evening. Like I love rubbish disco music. And in the end, I took off my dress because I was too uncomfortable, went back upstairs to the hotel room and put like leggings on and like a comfy vest and a long line cardigan and I was just like Mark I need to dance I need to dance and I was dancing in the middle of the dance floor 37 and a half weeks pregnant with my slippers on and I was loving life and everyone was like okay maybe slow it down a little bit so your waters don't break but it was just so so much fun and Mark said that like when he was watching me just like have fun and be silly he was like I just fell in love with you even more which like considering I must have looked like an absolute muffin with my pink slippers on like I was really touched by it and I don't know we're just in a really really nice place at the moment and I feel like I couldn't pick anyone else that I would rather be with and I feel like really secure that he's going to look after me like during labour and you know now and afterwards and that's just been really lovely so I thought I would mention it because it, just that support of your partner at this stage in your pregnancy is so important I think because you do need encouragement because it is scary it's it's scary getting to this point and that kind of gets me on to where my head's at at the moment it was really funny with with Bill I had never ever had a baby before so I was so excited and I couldn't wait to meet him and he was overdue and then I got miserable and then I had to get induced and I never really considered the pain and the aspect of labour until I left my house and said goodbye to my house and realised that I wasn't going to come home again until I had a baby with me and I was crying and I was really really scared and once I got to hospital I did calm down and obviously then once labour happens you're too sort of in the moment to be scared you're just sort of getting through it. With Daisy I was just easy breezy, I was so excited to meet my baby that I didn't care about the pain, I'd done my hypnobirthing I prepared myself as much as I could and I just wanted to meet my daughter that's all I thought about and sadly obviously with her all the pain came afterwards when she was in NICU and um, so it was a big shock to the system because I don't think I was ever prepared for a negative outcome if that makes sense whereas this time around obviously I've experienced NICU now I know the full effects of my syndrome so that's on my mind a lot as I mentioned in my last video but I'm, I'm scared of the pain I'm scared of hurting I'm scared of the 
not knowing of when it's going to happen like what i'm going to do with the kids daisy in particular is really struggling i think like well mark agrees with me and nursery agrees with me i think i've mentioned this before but she's getting very 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 attached to her mummy bless her and um just really emotional about things and very insecure and like trying really hard to like make us laugh and stuff and she knows that there's a baby in my tummy like she may not yet be two but she's very very aware of what's going on and i just really feel for her in that respect because it's a lot for her to take and she does quite revel in being center of attention whereas bill's very laid back and he's quite happy to let her take center stage because he just loves her so much he's been really good about it he's just excited for his brother to come and speaking of bill i have a quote i wrote it down on instagram and shared it in a photo so you know if you're not following me on instagram i'm at charlton Taylor by the way I'll leave a link down below but this is what he said word for word we were eating dinner last night and I was just saying to Mark you know like oh, I am getting nervous now especially because of all of this weather at the moment which I'll touch on in a second and Bill just pipes up it's okay mama girls have babies every day when they're grown-ups and I know you're scared but it's not like something's going to eat you and I was like right thanks thanks kid that 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 makes it so much better i'm not gonna get eaten my vagina's probably gonna split in two but that's fine i'm not gonna get eaten thank you so much like he should be like a coach shouldn't he like an emotional spiritual coach with that kind of that kind of stuff because i uh, me and mark were laughing our heads off it's just the things that he comes out with sometimes but yes weather wise um the uk has been hit with what is called here the beast from the east and we have had some crazy ass snow and like to give a bit of context if you're not from around here it doesn't really tend to snow at this time of year very very rarely snows honestly like a couple of days ago I could not tell the difference between where the pavement ended and the road began so everything was just a sheet of snow there's like snow drifts everywhere there's like slush everywhere people are getting snowed into their houses nearby to me it's just been horrific and we've had like really really strong winds for the past couple of nights to the point where we have a carport outside like our house like over our front door and we've lost a sheet from the top of that now and it's just like carnage for the most part and i've not left the house and i was waiting to film this video because i had a midwife appointment coming up uh, yesterday it was meant to be but the snow has been so bad that it's been cancelled so i've not had my 38 week appointment and and I've now got one at 39 plus two which was will be next Thursday and it's kind of at that point where I'm thinking like well I hope I actually get to have that appointment because I, <laughs> I don't know it's just kind of really throwing me off because I can't really go out in this because it's so dangerous and if I do go out the buggy is the best thing for me because I've said like on Instagram stories it's like my pregnant stabilizers like a little like Zimmer frame for pregnant ladies and I can hold it and it stops me from falling but obviously I don't want to drag the kids out in it because my kids have been through enough with like chicken pox and various coughs and colds and illnesses at the moment that I don't want to like drag them out there as well so it's been one of those where I've been cooped up in the house Bill's had his school cancelled so he's had two and a half days off school as a result of it and it's just all been a bit manic Mark's working from home he's in the kitchen at the moment and we're all just on top of each other a little bit um so it's been quite a tough week because all of my routine's gone out the window but what is really nice is that it's forced me to relax and I'm really really enjoying just taking it slow like obviously I've got two children to entertain and keep away from their dad while he's working but I, I've been able to just sit down on the sofa and relax and rest and I've just had to give into it and that that's fine like that's just the way things are at the moment and to be honest with you I think I needed that kick to slow down a little bit and then like in terms of symptoms and labour and all those sorts of signs I don't feel like labour is imminent but I have definitely started noticing that like things are feeling a bit different and it's getting closer but the problem is i really don't want to go into labor at any time soon because i don't really want to leave the house it's not massively safe some of the roads towards my hospital are actually closed so that would be interesting and i'd end up probably having a home birth um so <laughs> that's that wasn't part of the plan so <laughs> I am um, I'm just hoping and um, you know keeping keeping those legs crossed but um I have noticed a lot 
of heaviness like my pelvis has been incredibly sore at times and my stomach has been quite crampy sometimes like I seem to have these urges to go to the toilet as in like a number two that kind of thing and I really really need to go and it's like painful and it's almost like just the pressure of him is like forcing me to just literally I sit up and I'm like a meerkat and I'm like oh where's the toilet and I have to run and it's really quite uncomfortable and I'm getting a lot of those sorts of aches and pains which makes me think that like because he's moving down I am sort of trying to make room for him if that makes sense. The disappointing thing about not having a midwife appointment is not knowing whether or not I'm engaged. Like I can feel his head down there but I'm not a midwife so I wouldn't know 100% but we will find out soon enough and hopefully like next week will be the week where she'll go yeah he's almost engaged and I think you're gonna have him tomorrow and I'll be like oh cool thanks that's great oh just dropped my phone but yeah that is that's kind of where I'm up to I'm just I'm getting bigger I can see it in my face a lot like I have a lot of water retention in my face and my hands my hands look at them right like I'll, they look like they're made of I don't know balloons like balloon animals like they're just so swollen and so big and they are tight and uncomfortable and just not very fun and my face it's happening on my nose a lot and my lips are bigger and just general puffiness like I've noticed it in other videos that I've edited back and I'm like oh Jesus like you are not looking your best at the moment young lady but it will fade Um, I'm still like in the same size clothes that I want to be in like this jumper is actually non-maternity from ASOS and it's a size 12 so I feel really happy that it fits me and I'm not like bothered by that which is is great because obviously then when I have him it will still fit me and it will be baggy over my tummy and hide my postpartum pooch but yeah I'm going to show you my belly I do feel like it's dropped and I do feel like it's very very big like Mark sometimes looks at me and goes I'm sorry it's just ridiculous it's so big that is my belly from the front at 38 weeks as you can see here it's really hanging out now and at the very bottom of my bum if you look at this bit here I can feel like a very it's very firm and I think that might be like shoulders um and I can feel down here like head almost so I would take a guess and say that I think he is engaged and then that is him from the side so as I've mentioned this is happening a lot more now but he's definitely getting big and it won't be long until you are earth side little human I can't wait to meet you. So yeah, that is another week down. So I'll be back hopefully next week for week 39. I'll try and leave it more towards my midwife appointment so I can hopefully update you on what she says in terms of like measurements and, you know, finding out all of that sort of stuff. And yeah, I guess like I should say thank you again just in case that doesn't happen though and wish you all well. I'm so, so excited to share him with you. I have sort of got to a point now where I've accepted that if he's poorly he's poorly and um, we'll be okay and we're gonna do it and we'll be fine and I'll find a way to keep like working and you know look after him and look after the kids we will just make it work we've done it before and we will be able to do it again but I'm really excited to show you or well, show you him introduce you to him no matter what because you are you've been like such an important part of all of this and I'm so grateful for all of you I really really hope that you you know that so good luck to all of you if you're at the same stage of me or a bit ahead like I hope that babies come safely and well and you get to take them home straight away and I will see you next time thank you so much for watching bye